After a short rig move, the mast of rig was to be raised. After lifting 30 centimeters from its horizontal position, system under tension. The operations were stopped for 15 minutes to fit the blowout preventer beams under the substructure. Lifting operations then recommenced. Lifting further 60 centimeters while the weight indicator showed 220 ton, a bang was heard and the mast fell back uncontrolled, landing on the high stand. The high stand, monkey board and mast were damaged. The off-driller sides too, one quarter raising line had failed at the first sheave. No personnel injury but asset damage. Worst area of damage to the mast section below crown block. Other damage, monkey board, yoke, blowout preventer beams, mid-mast section, raising line. And potential, actual equals level 4, major acid damage, 4A, potential equals fatality equals C4PA, fatality, potential was deduced from the fact that 1. The mast was raised 30 centimeters and left static with the failure weight 220 ton held on the brake 2, men were then walking in the area where the raising line whipped during failure. Given a slightly different time of failure one or two men could have been seriously injured or killed. Forces on system. Force F equals 220 ton. Resultant forces of F2, 110 ton throughout the 2.25 inch raising line system from yoke to a frame. This gives a safety factor of 2.26 on the manufacturer's quoted braking strength figure of 249 ton. But exceeds the test load 87 ton and WLL of 43 ton. Point of failure. Either just before or after the first directional sheave. Overstressing of the raising line. Whilst picking the mast up off the high horse, a load of 220 ton was pulled by the drawworks. One, this load exceeds the maximum load stipulated in the contractor raising procedure, 180 ton, by 40 ton, need to find out more where this limit figure came from. Two, the loads quoted by the wire rope manufacturer asterisk WLL, SWL, equals 43 ton asterisk test load equals 87 ton asterisk breaking load equals 249 ton. Metallurgical findings. To ascertain the raising line failure mode, Three sets of the failed raising lines were sent to three different companies for investigation. To date, three out of the three companies had come back with the following principal findings. Metallurgical examination report. Concluded cause of failure is due to corrosion fatigue, stress-induced fatigue associated with the repeated passage over rolling sheaves. Note. Failed line was lubricated and protected on regular basis by the rig. 2. Destruction tests showed 35% reduction on tensile strength compared to new line. Resulted in reduction of line safety factor from 2.2 to 1.5 and prescribed SWL exceeded by 25%. Root causes. Shear break due to reduced tensile strength as a result of corrosion fatigue. Stress-induced fatigue associated with the repeated passage over rolling sheaves. 2. The line was pulled 40 tons over max pull stipulated by the OEM. Reducing the theoretical SF from 2.6 to 2.2, resulting in stressing of an already weakened line. Contributing factors. Saline atmosphere microscopic deep-rooted scoring marks due to bending stresses. Corrosion fatigue tendency preventions 1. Avoid reverse bending during service. Not possible 2. Thorough maintenance practice of regular cleaning and lubrication. Partial answer. Management system weaknesses. Risk management. Management of change. Exemption mitigation measures, based on oil field practice, not adequate enough to eliminate or reduce the risk to an acceptable level. Organization and resources. Information management. Company maintenance standard existed, but no rig specific maintenance task for raising lines, sheaves in place. Hence no maintenance records kept in the rig maintenance system.
Risk management. Risk management process. Not all hazards were identified and eliminated or controlled. In this case, personnel worked under suspended load. Performance monitoring and improvement. Performance review. Procedure in place, but not reviewed to ensure it is in line with standard procedure in place. Organization and resources. Training and competence. No clear understanding of the loads applied in the system, nor the minimum API safety factor required. Minimum. 2.5. to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone